Hey guys, Ashen Throw here. Uh, just gonna show you a little video of me and my buddy doing Emissary of Flame. Uh, I'm on my priest, he's on his Crusader. We're a little bit lower level gear score, um, but it is doable with these two classes even though they don't pump out the DPS, so we're just kinda show you how we did it. Um, damage over time really helps out on this fight uh, for the priest. I, I am running Crescent Moon just cause I'm used to it. And I like watching people dodge all my healing balls all the time anyways. Uh, it's really not a good idea to use it here, but I forgot to change it when we went in. Um, so here we go, we got a little buff happening from uh, Crusader. Um, always try to keep your dots up as much as you can. Don't lock onto this guy. Uh, that gives you more leeway to bob and weave and just run around his stuff without using any of your stamina. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Um, next really in-depth thing that we need to look at here is when we get him down to 50% there's going to be DPS check. So for now uh, we're just going to look at how the flame gets spread around the room. Uh, usually it's always in uh, moon or crescent shaped. Um, he likes to get that wide arc. All of his attacks are cone shaped when they come out. Uh, the closer you can stay to this boss, uh, the better, the easier it is to dodge everything. Um, uh, lots of movement. Stays mobile as you can here, guys. Um, you know, you're going to get a little bit of damage over time happening. Um, I also might be getting that confused with the uh, with the next boss in these two-man dungeon <laughs> runs, but uh, still, uh, pretty fun fight. Um, lots of lots of neat mechanics and uh, things you need to look at and be aware of all the time. Um, you know, we love the Crusader Priest combo. Uh, he's always grabbing my orbs. Uh, you know, I've been with a few berserkers, a few mages, some rangers. I don't know if they just can't see it or if it's a common priest thing, but nobody seems to pick up the healing balls at all. Um, you know, running with Abdihisayana here, he uh, generally keeps me buffed with defenses or attack power depending on whatever we're doing. <clears throat> uh, and he's really good in the melee range, dodging a bunch of stuff. Uh, so it's a really good combo to have, uh, you know, when you have a guy that you're running with all the time and you get to know uh, what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Um, it. Makes it pretty fun, pretty easy. So yeah, as you can see, this guy's got a plethora of abilities. Uh, really need to just watch your feet, stay out of hot spots. Uh, he's got a ton of stun mechanics. If you stand in any of that stuff, they explode, knock you down. Uh, he's got a draw-in mechanic that he follows up with a chrono melee all the time. Uh, but again, like I said, the closer you can be to this guy uh, and just run around him, uh, like most bosses in this game really, uh, the better off you're going to be uh, and the more versatile you're going to be when you get into those uh, those bigger fights with uh, more people. So now you're going to see more of these uh, flames shoot up in, into cones uh, out of the ground. If you're standing in any of those, those are knocked down, then he'll follow up with some damage. Um, so really got to be aware, you know, standard dungeon MMO rules apply. Don't stand in stuff that hurts you. Uh, <laughs> uh, dodge rolls are good, um, but most of this fight, you know, I, I see, you know, watching this video right now that uh, I dodge roll way more than I need to, and you should really be conserving that uh, stamina for when you actually do need a dodge roll versus just running out of the way. Um, usually a lot of this stuff is telegraphed. Here we go into the uh, the DPS phase where you gotta beat the boss or else it's an instant wipe. You don't clear that 50% <coughs> phase right there. Uh, it's an instant wipe and you gotta start over there and it sucks. Uh, this is probably... Our, I think I second or third attempt on this boss. Um, so we were pretty pumped right here. We got him. We're like, yes, now it's just a cakewalk, easy peasy, as we uh, just continue to work through his mechanics and um, and learn the boss a little bit better on how he attacks, reacts. Um, also, uh, just notice there, dodge rolling through a healing ball. 90% of the time, you can't pick up a healing ball if you dodge roll through it, so you got to be aware of that. You need to 
run around it, uh, run to your healing ball, don't dodge roll because it doesn't give you the heal. Um, I'm actually spread and die right there just because I just ate a face full of fire and lava. But... So again, uh, kind of moved back to my comment about conserving stamina. I did a dodge roll for no reason there. I got stuck in this time event and I didn't have the stamina to dodge roll out of it and I took a ton of damage and I'm just laying on the ground like a chum. Uh, hoping that I don't get shot here again. Um, so yeah, you gotta be aware, save that stamina, just do the runs, try not to dodge roll unless absolutely necessary. Um, some of these little conal attacks, it's okay to get hit by one little flame ball, it doesn't do very much damage. Um, like right there, I got hit like 964 damage, which isn't very much in here right now. Um, something else that I kind of wanted to touch base with here is, uh, I always try to put my, uh, my buff circle in melee range all the time. Uh, melee seems to be the guys that take the most amount of damage. Um, and Crusaders could use the damage buff, Berserkers use the damage buff. Uh, mages can buff themselves, so I don't really worry about it because they're running crit damage most of the time anyways, and that's something that I don't see a lot of priests doing. A lot of priests, uh, when I'm doing some uh, five-man content or world, or the zone bosses or whatever, uh, there's almost no priests in melee range uh, buffing the melee damage and, uh, and healing those guys. You know, you drop balls in that group. Uh, there's always a group of melees in there, you know, you're, you're topping up like five, six guys at a time, putting bots on them, keeping everybody alive while increasing their damage. Um, I do believe that, uh, that the priest is key to uh, survival and, uh, and DPS increases by being there. So, coming up back on the boss here now, uh, we're getting close to the surprise second DPS race check that we didn't know about. We thought there was only one at uh, 50%, so we both got pretty nervous right there, but we were uh, in position to get it handled. Um, yeah, so we just kept uh, smoking this fool, and we eventually uh, got the win, and, and we uh, ran over, grabbed our uh, Emissary of Flame loot chest, and popped it open, and, uh, you know, Hoping for something amazing in there, but uh, you know, standard standard loot for uh, a tougher fight than any other um, any other one of these runs that we've ever done. Uh, Would like to have seen something a little bit better, but oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. If it helped you out at all, it's great. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Air hugs and high fives. <laughs>